Hi guys, welcome to the channel, general love reading for my friends Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energies of the second week of June 2020. If you resonate with the messages, leave a comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. It seems to be helpful, so thank you for the support. If you don't resonate with these messages, they are probably meant for someone else. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You will find other readings down in the first comment starting with the June 2020 love reading and the new round of the What About Them videos, so feel free to check them out. And now guys, let's find out together the opening theme of this reading for you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Air Signs, second week of June 2020. Here we go, you get two, guys. Surrender to the divine and you and your loved ones are safe. So encouraging message, the one that is referring to you and your loved ones. This is always uh, something positive to achieve. And then the surrender to the divine, an encouragement to allow the energies to flow according to their natural course allowing the events to unfold in the most uh, natural way sometimes sometimes it is the best uh, thing to do you know kind of um, release a little bit of control let's see what the tarot has to say guys about these energies Gemini, Libra, Aquarius first card out the Empress to start our reading let's see the Hermit Nine of Pentacles the Lovers Page of Cups the Hierophant King of Swords Ace of Wands, Seven of Cups. Well, very good to see the King of Swords in front of the cloud of the Seven of Cups. It will be overcome. So guys, I will guide you through the spread as always. First row of cards, the energy about the person that you are dealing with feel free to pick your side if you feel that the reading is going to resonate in the reverse the empress the hermit nine of pentacles this person is sitting uh, very very good in their energy um, very wise with the hermit a uh, mature person they can be young uh, in their age but um, you know one of those person that um, show a higher level of maturity of awareness they know how to um, handle situation they know the appropriate manners that are requested in um, particular circumstances they kind of have um The feeling is about um, a particular uh, self-esteem about themselves, which is positive because it's not about um, a feeling about arrogance, uh, not at all. But the Empress and the Hermit, uh, this person is um, wise and also they kind of know that they are able to channel um, very loving energy the mother of the deck the empress you know it is an energy as we were saying a couple of moments ago that allows uh, things to grow naturally in a healthy way and this person uh, is able to do such things in the interactions that uh, they can be um, involved in nine of pentacles very confident again just like the lady in the nine of pentacles um 
source of the primary um, satisfaction, let's say, this is an energy symbol, as the general meaning of the card goes, but uh, that is open to the opportunity of meeting someone that is able to uh, match the very high frequencies that um, we can find in this row of cards. So this is very interesting because in particular these two energies are about someone that can be uh, perfectly fine on their own, you know, they are not rushing um, into connections uh, just for the sake to uh, pleasure the, um, the talks that are uh, shared um, in their circle of um, friends, families, you know. This is a very mature person. I kind of uh, like this uh, flow of energy. So we'll see more. Second row of cards, um, usually you watching the heart of the reading, page of cups, there is the chance for a small gesture, a small token driven by feelings that can be extended or for others of you uh, that can be received in a particular situation, maybe. Um, It is interesting to see that in your row of energies you get the lovers and the hierophant. There is a sense about evaluation in regards of what a partnership should be. You know, the lovers, it is an energy about a heart over head decision, soulmate energy, of course. If the interaction with um, the person that you are inquiring about is already ongoing, of course there are feelings that are uh, sincere and deep. The Hierophant, it's another energy, very spiritual, just like the Hermit. Um, wisdom again, even on your side. Um, it's about uh, commitments, you know, way of doing things, choices also. In particular choices because we have already the lovers on the table so it's like some of you at least are considering how would it be possible to pursue a connection uh, on a solid ground you know with the hierophant with the two pillars um, on the sides So something small, even if sincere and honest with the Page of Cups, can uh, truly ignite, especially in your energy field, so in your considerations, in your evaluations, uh, truly um, a meaningful opportunity to evaluate if this connection can move to the following level allow me to say depending on the stage that your connection is at if you are looking for a partnership of course you will have the chance to experience this kind of evaluations as soon as you will uh, kind of encounter an energy that can uh, channel a mature and wise approach towards things or towards connections of course single <laughs> this can be good because it can help of course the process third row of uh, cards the energies um, about the connection ace of wands in the middle I, I think that it is meaningful king of swords seven of cups a sense of confusion can be uh, linked to the fact that this kind of connections with these uh, major arcanas at play um, can be a source of deep, deep evaluation. You know, the Seven of Cups basically gets the meaning about um, scenarios, decisions, choices, 
what should I pick, where should I go? But with the King of Swords, which by the way, elemental air, so you can be very um, comfortable in channeling these energies. There is a sense of clarity, um, logical approach, very rational, that can help in clearing the potential confusion that a lot of evaluations can bring to the table, you know. The Ace of Wands, I love that we get a spark in this connection because with the Empress and the Lovers, feelings and passion will definitely be a factor in this interaction, you know. So there is a chance to ignite um, a connection that is pure on the feeling uh, level, allow me to say, that can start with a small token, but um, with a great deal of potential because the Empress, as we were um, saying a couple of uh, moments ago, uh, allows things to grow naturally and in a healthy way. And the Lovers, of course, is about a deep, deep um, bond that two person can share so this is very interesting now i will go for the nine of pentacles for um my personal curiosity let's say because this single energy open to the chance of meeting a match Knight of Swords, no reverse guys, I got the deck in reverse, but Knight of Swords is all about uh, rushing communication. So this can go two ways. Communication can come from this person, let's say, after a deep evaluation driven by love, because the Empress to me is uh, indeed an energy loving and caring that can help the uh, development of uh, connections, partnerships, and interactions on the um, love arena, or in the love arena, let's say. So, Knight of Swords, very sudden communication, uh, driven by excitement. Sometimes it can be harsh. Yes, this is not the, the case. We are vibing towards the uh, excitement to uh, talk with someone. This can be true coming from this person or coming in favor of this person especially if we um, decide to associate the knight of swords to the uh, gesture that we can find in the page of cups so it is um, a chance to uh, talk in a very meaningful way with a, a great uh, sense of um, excitement meaning uh, I can't wait to talk with this person because I like this person because I am I feel that uh, with them I can uh, talk freely and honestly you know this kind of um, this kind of examples now let's see the page of cups the small gesture that some of you will extend, others will receive, depending on the um, circumstances. Seven of Cups, look at this. This is interesting because it's a repetition of the Seven of Cups in the meeting of the energies. It's like the, the evaluations that we were discussing um, about before that can be linked to the partnerships that one person can desire to pursue, for example, will be kind of uh, cleared up in a sense by a meaningful token that can start as, a, as an opportunity, you know, from it's like from the seven cups in the cloud in front of this man, one cup full of feelings, sincere and honest, will rise up, let's say, gaining the attention of the person 
that will receive it considering the fact that the one extending the cup has already um, thought about the meaning of the offer you know this is interesting now let's see the seven of cups in the meeting of the energies let's see what we can get queen of cups feelings definitely bottom of the deck guys four of wands this can be a meaningful opportunity for something that is so wise and mature let's say on the both side on the both sides because the queen of cups is all about um, intuition yes being in touch with uh, the heart soul you know the queen has um, mastered the self-love energy and now she is able to extend love feelings and emotions in favor of a significant other i kind of like that from the uh, combination seven of cups page of cups basically in the meeting of the energies we move to a combination seven of cups queen of cups basically we uh, we even skip the night let's say and we move uh, directly to the queen of cups energy so two royal figures meaning that high frequencies can be channeled by the both of you the process must flow in a very natural way you know because we get this surrender to the divine as a, one of the opening theme the you and your loved ones are safe in this case i feel that is more uh, about the consideration that these kind of interactions with the wise energies offered by the hierophant the hermit the empress also because she is the queen of the queens basically this kind of interactions um, can grant the opportunity to feel comfortable with the other person and vice versa of course so the being safe energy is about a great level of comfortable energies that can be channeled in this beautiful interaction that can be with this meaningful ace of wands a powerful spark towards a four ones opportunity just like the um, bottom of the deck that we have seen this is quite interesting to see and promising also so guys i will leave it at that i continue on vimeo i'll see you there if you want to join me the link is below if you resonate with these very light energies leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel and if we part ways guys i hope that this reading was helpful at least to some of you and until next time i wish you the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye